Well, the Board of Trustees votes on major budget cuts at Wright State after the university overspent by $34 million last year. Two News reporter Kelly King has new information on how the school plans to get back on track financially. The board voted to cut nearly $31 million from the budget, but the interim president says that's not enough and it should be more like $40 million. I think our problems are a little deeper and I think it's going to take us longer time. Our arrival here at this point in our history is truly unfortunate. About 200 people packed the student union Thursday as Wright State's Board of Trustees voted to dig the school out of the red. And to our students, many of whom are with us today, we owe you nothing less than a fulfilling and life-changing educational experience. 57 jobs will be cut and more than 100 current vacant positions will be eliminated. It breaks my heart in a way that we're, we are where we are today. Administrative support, student workers, and foreign language classes like Japanese, Italian, and Russian all slashed under the new budget. While swim and dive teams were also on the chopping block. If you don't know those numbers, why not give it some time? Passionate pushes from parents and swim alum. I cannot accept that you don't, you haven't considered it and you want to cut this program. Please leave the kids alone. The last minute motion spared the teams for the next three weeks. Our particular program, it's an amenity for students and it is a fiscally responsible program. Um, that it generates more revenue than uh, it costs. Under the directive, the president will work with the athletic director to keep the teams while staying within the $11.6 million sports budget. It's not over yet, far from over. We still have a lot of work to do. Student fees will increase along with room and board rates, and Wright State employees will not get a pay raise. Even with the millions in reductions, Wright State will likely be under fiscal watch in 2019. I prefer it not. It's not good for reputation, not good for the way in which we're viewed in the community, but there it is, and we're going to deal with it. The deadline is June 30th to come up with a plan to save the swim and dive teams. Reporting at Wright State University, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.